everybody. Um, it's Robin, the Delta Scrapper here. And um, I just wanted to share a couple of ideas with you guys for some stocking stuffers. One of my favorite parts of Christmas morning is opening up the stockings. And the reason why it's such a favorite part of mine is because um, typically stuffed in your stocking are all kinds of small little trinkets um, that when you pull them out later on, you're like, oh, I'm so glad I have these Kleenex or this um, fingernail file or this little tube of lotion to throw in my little party purse or um, just when you need a tube of chapstick, you have one because there was a tube in your um, stocking. So um, just wanted to share a couple of ideas with you for some stocking stuff. For some of these you may already know, um, but I'm also going to share with you the stores where I purchased them from um, and stocking stuffers um, don't have to be expensive. I know, you know, some people like to put nice things in the stockings, but they don't have to be. They can be small, um, useful items. So I have a couple of those. Um, so uh, let's get started. So first things first, we're going to start out with something that's probably in everybody's stocking and that's candy. So, um, oftentimes we have, um, I've seen and I've had peppermint candy canes in my stocking. Um, and I've always loved them. Then I walk around with them all day long and, um, pull, pull them out different times as I'm going places and throw a little candy cane in my purse just to have a little snack on, um, or something to freshen my breath as I'm going to different functions and activities. And so I got picked these up at um my gro a local grocery store this past weekend who and at that grocery store they had um a deal where if you spent twenty dollars you would get an additional fifty percent off all holiday candy so this particular package of candy canes and these are really thick and nice guys i don't know if you can see but you can kind of see where they were hand torn the the um string of, of peppermint candy cane was was kind of cut or hand torn and I think that just adds a nice little piece to it um but there are five of them in here um and these are really thick and nice and so these were originally three dollars and I got them uh 50 off so that made them a dollar fifty so um that's a little bit more than a quarter for each one of these candy canes and like I said they're nice and thick so you can hang them on the outside of the stocking and what's even better about these candy canes is these are made in the USA. Um, just this past um, week, this candy company, Dorsher's, I think that's how you pronounce it, D-O-S-C-H-E-R apostrophe S, um, they were featured on um, ABC's um, news, ABC News as a part of the Made in America segment. So I was really happy when I found these um, <clears throat> and even more happy that I was able to get them at 50% off. So don't forget about candy canes. Next thing I want to show you is an oldie but a goodie. Um, y'all, I don't know if about y'all, but I grew up with Pez candies. Um, my parents used to buy them for me all the time and this was one of the things that was in my stocking. Um, and so they're still around they're still um, these are made in america as well guys so that that's even more awesome um but these little candy cane candy um dispensers haven't changed a whole lot in in all these years um but the, you can buy these really inexpensively at various different stores i picked up these items and the next items i'm going to show you um at a store in my area called five and below so everything in the store is five dollars and below and they have all kinds of um little trinkets and toys pens ink pens um all kinds of trendy things i even got a shirt for the dog for um christmas from there uh, for three bucks um so it's a great place to shop for stocking stuffers and they even have like uh, cute games and things so give them a try if you um, have one in your area but I really like these Pez um, candy dispensers as well. I think these were like a dollar eighty or something like that. So really inexpensive. Um, and these are going to be going to two of my godchildren. So Pez candy dispensers. Don't forget about these. 
Next thing I'm going to show you is um, peppermint bark, and this is from William Sonoma. So this one was a little bit more pricey. Um, I think it was three dollars maybe um, at the time that I purchased it. I think it had um, they had a friends and family um, special going on or something like that. Anyway, this is one of my mom's favorites. So I always. Um, get her one of these and stick it in her stocking because it's small. It's something I know she loves and I know she's going to appreciate it. So I always get one of these um, for her. Um, these, the uh, peppermint bark at Williams Sonoma is very well known. It is very popular, um, but they have several different kinds and sizes and things like that. But this size is perfect for the stocking. And so this is gonna go right into her stocking this year. Uh-oh, guys, I made a mistake. I meant to show you these before I showed you the peppermint gang. I'm oh, sorry, the peppermint bark. Um, so these two items um, I got at um, Five and Below as well. And so these are like little ornaments. And to be honest with you, I'm not quite sure what is in here. It looks like a little stuffed animal a little plastic animal um these are for my godchildren as well so i got a boy one and a girl one um i think these were a couple bucks as well so but these will be cute to um to place in their box that's going to to them pretty soon Okay, everyone, so that took care of all the um, candy options and um, sweet treat options that um, I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, next category I'm going to move on is to um, trinkets and toys and uh, for little children. So um, first thing I'm going to put out is pencils because, you know, I'm an educator and children always um, need pencils. And so... Um, and it's always fun to write with a cute pencil rather than just a yellow pencil. I mean, a yellow pencil will do. It'll get the job done, but it's even more fun to me anyway um, and to lots of kids to, to write with um, cute pencils. So I um, picked up, as a matter of fact, all of the items that I have for um, toys and, and um, things like this are from um, Dollar Tree. And I don't know if y'all have... A Dollar Tree in your area um, or if you've been to Dollar Tree this year but Dollar Tree is knocking it out the park this year with all the items that they have their um, ornaments were really really great this year um, they had lots of great um, all kinds of things for the holiday at the beginning of the season um, like plates and and um, tableware and and things of that sort um, that were really really nice and um, I have been there several times. So anyway, so back to um, the things for kids. Um, so if you have a couple of kids and you um, you can take one package of these, there's 12 pencils in here, and then you can take one of each design and just tie a little ribbon around them like I did here. And so you can take a package of 12 and divide it up amongst four kids and it'll still be a great stocking stuffer. So this pencils, um, definitely one to add to the list. So this little pinball game um, I got at Dollar Tree as well, and I just thought it was cute. Um, it'll be something to keep the kids entertained, you know, for at least for a little while. <laughs> you know, we have uh, we know how kids' um, attention can be these days. Um, but it's it's a it's a little game, and it you pull the little spring back, and it sends all the little balls, and they try to get them in various different um, places to earn uh, points. So. This is a game that um, they can spend some time with and kind of really try to master getting the balls where they want them to go. So this one was a good one too. Then the old fashioned paddle ball. I don't know if kids really play with these um, a lot anymore, but I remember I used to play with them in, when I was a child. And so when I saw this, it kind of got nostalgic for me. Um, but I think this is still a great, great gift to get gift to give um, to put in a stocking, um, and 
it'll again it's just like the pinball machine it'll keep the kids entertained for a little while while the parents um or the adults have an opportunity to spend some time talking and catching up I found this uh, Christmas Rubik's Cube at Dollar Tree, and I thought it was so cute. It's got a penguin, um, some gifts on one side, a snowman, another penguin on skis, Santa and reindeer, um, and all kinds of cute little um, holiday-themed images. So I thought this was a really cute idea. Um, and for those those of you that have um, kids and students that are really interested in figuring things out, this is a great gift for them. And last but not least, you can never go wrong with a coloring book. Um, and this particular coloring book, it's not just a coloring book, it's an activity book as well. And I like to get, when I buy books like this for kids, I like for them to be coloring and activity. Um, but it keep, because it keeps them a little bit, gives them a variety, a variety of things to do and it keeps them entertained a little bit longer. So um, there's a follow the path, some coloring there word search i love i still love doing word searches connect the dots used to, this used to be one of my favorite things um to do where the where the connect the dots and various different um activities in here so that you can again you can never go wrong with a um an act a coloring book uh, coloring and activity book so that's all for the the um toy section Toy and kid entertainment section. Let's move on to Bath and Beauty. So the first item I'm going to show you is fingernail polish. So if you have a preteen in your household um, or a teenager, fingernail polish, uh, teenage girl that is, fingernail polish will always um, do the trick. So. I got this bottle at Dollar Tree. It's a perfect holiday red. Um, and it was, again, everything at Dollar Tree is a dollar. So it was one buck. Great price. A um, couple of, earlier on in the season, rather, I went to um, Ulta when, no, it was, I might have been right shortly after Black Friday. Um, and they had their, they put out their um, little, items that they have and these were I think at the time five for five or a ten for ten I'm not exactly sure I can't remember because it was a while ago um, so I picked up some of these items um, and this is this is so cute to me um, this is bubble bath it's in winter vanilla and this is ba a bath fizzer and um, it's also in the winter vanilla um, scent as well so this will be cute to throw in a stocking and then a girl was always in need of a nice emery board, one that still um, works really well. So you can never have too many of these. So a nice emery board or a set of emery boards in this case. Um, it's also a good thing to have on hand. So let's talk about some lip, lip chap, um, chapstick. Some people call it, I call it chapstick. Some people call it lip chap, whatever the case may be. Um, this is a good item to give the men in your life. Um, they can throw this in their pocket and walk them around and, <clears throat> excuse me, still be able to make sure that the lips are moist for the kissing. So this is a good idea um, to throw in the stockings of, of your men. Cause I know stocking stuffers for men and shopping for men sometimes in general can be a little bit challenging but don't forget about the um lip chap um and this blistex kind is medicated so it's going to see as, as it says seal in the moisture so this is a good one last couple of things i want to show you in um health and beauty or the um beauty section or, or items is um these two items that i picked up from mac um, again, these are, well, as I said earlier with the, um, peppermint bark, these items were a little bit pricey. Um, but in comparison to what the, the full size items cost, they're relatively inexpensive. Um, 
each of these items were ten dollars um and they have at and i picked these up at nordstrom i've picked up they have they started a little um like a little spinner that has ten dollar ten dollar items on there and they've added to those items as the seasons have gone on years have gone on because i've gotten um eyeshadow before but this is my first time seeing little mini lipsticks and so i was uh quite shocked because i went in there um someone had requested a tube of ruby ruby woo lipstick so i went in there to get that um for them for christmas and lo and behold they had the little mini tube of ruby woo ruby woo is one of mac's most popular colors so um I'm not surprised that they made it in the little mini, but again, I hadn't seen the lipsticks before. Um, so I was kind of happy and um, elated that I could get this, fulfill this request for $10. Now, again, this is a mini, so you can't see, um, but the lipstick goes from here to here. So it's a mini tube of the lipstick. It's not a full size tube. Um, but nonetheless, it's going to do the trick. It's the color that was requested, um, that she wanted. So going to be able to pr meet that need. Um, this is a tube of the pigmented, um, eyeshadow. And if you've ever bought their pigmented eyeshadow before guys, number one, it's highly pigmented, which I love, um, because it helps the color show up on African American skin. Secondly, this little tube will last you for years. Trust me on this. I have a um another one that I have um it's in the melon kind of gold color. Um I've had it for two years and I have barely broken the surface on it. And I use melon as my gold base pretty much every day, except for the days that I'm wearing silver jewelry. But this pigment because it's pigmented a lot a little bit goes a long way. So this one is called Naked, and I believe it is um the pigmented version of Naked Lunch, which I love. Um, this is the color I wear a lot when I wear silver. So um, I picked these two up at Nordstrom and I really do um, think these make these will make great stocking stuffers. So that concludes the health and beauty item, um, items for stockings. And then the last, uh, last set of items we're gonna show you today is just kind of general, all purpose, um, good for anybody type items. And these came from a, a bunch of different places. So I'll share, share with you where I picked them up. So this is a, um, double walled, um, beverage container, be glass. It's shaped like a mason jar. It even, it even has some of the um, raised mason imagery, uh, or the imagery you see on a typical mason jar. Um, I'm not exactly sure how many ounces this is, but I would, if I had to guess 12, maybe 16, I'm not sure. Um, but I've seen these at, this. this is the Aladdin brand. Yes, it's a Latin brand. And I've seen these at um, some bunch of different stores before. Um, but believe it or not, guys, I picked this one up at Dollar Tree. So this was $1. Now, I brought it home and I personalized it for my mom um, to include her initial um, using my Cricut machine. Um, but that took a, just a little bit of vinyl and a little bit of time. And so now I've made her... And several other people, a personalized uh, water container with the festive red and green straw. So this is this is a great alternative, or, or should I say, a great item to place in the stocking. You can never, never, never go wrong with a pair of fuzzy socks. You, it doesn't matter how many pair you have. Um, you can always use another pair. <laughs> um, and these have this little snowman on them, so they go great with uh, the holiday season. Uh, these I picked up at Old Navy. Um, I can't remember if it was Black Friday or some other weekend. They had their fuzzy socks, cozy socks for a dollar. So I picked up several pair of these um, to go along, go in stockings. And um, here in North Texas, it's just now starting to get cold. So these will get lots and lots of use and wear. 
So these are a great item as well. The next two items I actually picked up at Michael's um, this past weekend. Um, I just recently joined the Reading Glasses Club. Um, I kind of had to, had no choice but to give in and, and um, you know, if I wanted to be able to read or continue to be able to read. Um, so I saw this item and I was like, oh, that's a great idea. Um, Cause typically, unless you get real, real prescription um, reading glasses, but if you buy, um, they'll come with a case, but if you buy your prescription, I'm, I'm sorry, your reading glasses from anywhere else, they typically don't come with a case. Or um, So this will make a great um, option to give someone if they want to put glasses, uh, reading glasses in them, sunglasses in them, whatever the case may be. This was $2.99, and at, um, at the time that I bought it, it was 50% off, so this was $1.50. This makes a great uh, stocking stuffer as well. Now, if you're like me, I like to have um, a bunch of different um, family games, card games, individual games on hand, um, especially for this time of year when I want, when people are over and they are, you know, wanting to spend time together and do some different things. So I picked up this set of dominoes um, at Michael's again. It kind of go, it's in the same theme as the eyeglass case. Um, because I didn't have a set and this was the perfect, uh, this, was, this was a great set to have on hand. These were um, $6.99 and then 50% off of that. So if you know somebody who loves dominoes, who's a gamer, who um, is maybe starting out with their home, they don't have a lot of games yet, this is a great um, choice to give them um, or put in their stocking. Last thing um, that I'm going to show you guys is this notebook. Um, we are always looking for places to jot down information, thoughts, ideas. Um, and so it's always good and nice to have a blank notebook on hand. And so um, earlier, a little bit, a couple weeks ago, I picked up this notebook in the Target dollar spot. Um, and I think they had a couple of different colors and um, words on this one says notebook. Um, but I think they had some other ones with other sayings on the front. Um, but this, I just felt like this was a good generic item that could be um, put in someone's stocking that, um, you know, it's a, it'll be a good thing to, to have on hand. So you might not use it now, but you'll probably, you could probably use it um, later on at some point in time when you're ready to grab um, and need to grab a notebook. This was $5, um, but, it, and again, this was in the Target dollar spot. So that concludes all of the items that I wanted to share with you guys um, that are stocking stuffers. If you have some other items that you, you place in stockings that I didn't mention, please leave them in the comments below um, because I'd love to see what all you guys place in your stockings because it'll be great. Um, you give me some ideas of what I can do in the future. All right, guys. Bye. See you next time.